Well, I managed to get a day off work due to the weather and decided to go down to a local permission I have to shoot over to see if I could get any more magpies or jackdaws as the young birds have now left the nests and are adding to the number of birds that hook and poke the kernel of meal out from the silage that set out for the cattle. So I have my BSA Super 10 with me, 22 calibre, 15 foot pounds, with a Canon camcorder mounted to the back of the scope. And it's not long before I get my first opportunity. I have the scope zeroed for 44 yards as this post is at range, so I don't have to add any holdover, just aim dead on and drop the first one. Now before long I get a second opportunity. I get the camera on him and I can see his feathers ruffle with the wind so I just aim a little to the left to allow for it and dropped him with a heart shot. Now as I was sitting waiting for another opportunity this fellow popped out of a hole beside me obviously washed out with the heavy rain. He's only about five yards away from me and while I'm trying to get a sharp focus on the camera before taking a shot he decides to clear off badly missed opportunity that one. So I go out to left what I shot. That's the bir first bird I've shot but I couldn't see where the second one had gone to until I spotted it just under that dochel. That's another two in the bag. So since I've nothing else to do I decided to move to a different spot. You've seen me use this spot before now as I could see the cattle or sorry the birds were coming to feed on the meal set in the silage along where the cattle pen is. So I set up and before long I had an opportunity. This bird's about 30 yards away and I take him with a heart shot. He's lying here in among the silage that the other birds are hoping through. That one was a nice clean kill and adding to the bag count. So I set up with the uh, face mask on this time hoping, hoping to get another opportunity or two and this bird sets up at nice 35 yards and I'm waiting for a nice proper shot side on. I'm thinking of taking the shot now but I sort of notice something at my left hand side. This is where I should have pulled the trigger here but the figure in my left hand side got bigger and bigger. That was one of the cattle walks straight in front of the scope. That wasn't a safe shot so that was a spoilt opportunity. But after sitting for a wee while longer I got another opportunity. That burp was just under 30 yards there. Now the rain's starting to appear much heavier, but it's not putting the birds off feeding, and I get another opportunity. Get the crosshairs just below his shoulder and take the shot. Well, the day's moved on and I decided to call it quits. For two reasons. One, I'm getting hungry. And two, I have to admit, the last two shots, the birds were still conscious when I went out to lift them. Even though the shot placement looked perfect on camera. This is the last bird I shot and you can see the pellet struck just below the corner of the wing, breaking the wing entering the chest cavity and even exiting out the other side but it was still conscious when I went out to lift it and the same could be said for the one before that even though I do think the bird turned slightly as I squeezed the trigger which might uh, explain why the shot was so far back but this is one of the reasons why 
me and other air gunners like taking headshots as a heart shot doesn't always drop them as clean as you would like. I've been taking heart shots here as the bird don't often give me a lot of time to get a headshot but it sort of sickened me today and that's why I quit early.